Any the uppercuts. Right in the face. Well, hello, everybody. This is another Behind the Sermon. I'm Sean, joined today by Pastor Jason Wallace. That's right. It's me. What, what are you doing in the studio? I was behind the camera, and I was just like, this time I'm going to be in front of it. Very cool. Well, That's I'm glad that you decided to hang out with us. And uh, listen, I got to be honest. I was a little disappointed earlier. So earlier, Jason was describing to me that he cut a lot from his sermon. He left out some really important details. You were talking about like Psalm 16 and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. You got you to spill the beans. You got to tell all us. Right. You got to come clean. Here are the beans. The beans. So this sermon, um, so it's called Immovable. It happened 10 seconds ago. And uh, originally it was actually based on Psalm 16. The whole idea for it started there. And so in Psalm 16, it says, I've set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. So that I will not be shaken. That's the Hebrew word moat. That's the whole thing we talked about today. That's I will not be moved. And so we would have gotten to talk about what it means to set the Lord before you and, and, and even God's presence with us and how that strengthens us. Uh, and then how that isn't even the whole argument, because then it says uh, for he talks about him making his soul glad because he was not going because God is not going to leave David's body to rot. All right. And so the victory there is, is, is kind of this even even within um, the presence of God. It's not just I want God to be with me, but it's God with me to save um, and so it would have had the same kind of a similar feel, a similar theme, but I ended up cutting that. And Sean, what? And what? We would have gotten to talk about all the connections from uh, from with to, to Jesus, because that psalm mm. is quoted in Acts twice, once mm. by Peter, once by Paul, in reference to Christ. And so, some commentators, some theologians, would take the entire psalm as as Jesus speaking. And so you get to learn a lot doing that. Um, I, I believe it's both. I think that, that God can do that, um, that God spoke through David these things that wouldn't fully fit him, but then would uh, fit Jesus Christ when he came. I think that happens a lot in the scriptures. And so Jesus would have been kind of our immovable example. It would have been, it would have been fun. but It's really, really cool when we see a picture of Christ in the Old Testament. I love that. That's oh, a yeah, great faith builder for me. And, and I think that's really, really something cool. So Jason... Thanks for spilling those beans, and uh, I will see you on the next time we get to have you in the studio and record something. All right, cool.